Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what if my positive field test is false? A field test for drugs is a chemical test that's performed by a cop in the moment during an alleged investigation at the scene of a potential arrest by using a prepackaged drug testing kit in an attempt to determine if something that's found on your person or in your possession is in fact a controlled substance. Kind of like a pregnancy test, although not nearly as reliable, field test kits use a simple color indicator. They're cheap, many times deceptive, inaccurate, and uncertain. They're also both fallible and presumptive. False positives are widespread in field tests. Many a research study has proven that things including, but not limited to sage, chocolate chip cookies, motor oil, spearmint, tortilla dough, deodorant, billiards, chalk, flour, eucalyptus, breath mints, Jolly Ranchers, Krispy Kreme donut glaze, exposure to air, and loose leaf tea have all resulted in false positive field tests. Further, weather and lighting conditions when administering the tests and user error by poorly trained police officers can also result in false positives. I can't give you precise stats, but many studies have been performed, some showing error rates ranging from 1 in 5 to 1 in 3 false positives. In 09, the Marijuana Policy Project used KN Regent field tests on 42 different substances that were not marijuana. They reportedly got false positives on 70%. The bottom line is if you get arrested for a dope case, field test or not, you're going to need a skilled and experienced criminal defense lawyer to take the state to task and to challenge the evidence every step of the way. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.